Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kazi. Um, this is actually my first video, so I'm not sure how many of you are watching this, but uh, uh, if I can help one person with this video, then I'll, I'll be happy with that. Um, so I've been looking around and I saw a lot of beginners guys for League of Legends, and I feel like a lot of them are you know, either incomplete or they, they, um, they take for granted that the person that's playing already has experience with MOBAs, uh, which is not always the case actually. So I figured I'd make a video with the basics uh really you know a real a real beginner's guide uh per se and um so we're just gonna go through the basics if, if you know most of the basics uh you can skip this video i'm gonna do a series i'm gonna do a few more videos where i go more in depth on itemization masteries runes uh which champion to choose and individual roles so I'll go into, you know, jungler, top lane, bottom lane, mid lane. I'll go into those a little further. This is really just a basic introduction video. So, uh, like I said, if, if, you're, if you're new to the game, that's cool. If you're not, just skip this video, go on to the, one of the next ones, and uh, we'll get started here. So when you open the game, this is your client, right? You probably already know that. As you can see, you have this big orange play button that's hard to miss. This is where you get all your game modes. Um, for now, uh, I, I made this new account for the purpose of this video. Uh, for now, as you can see, I'm restricted and you're probably restricted as well. Uh, until level three, you can only play co-op versus AI, which is a good thing. And I'd even say uh, I'd probably stick to co-op versus AI until at least level 10, uh, because PvP is just kind of hard if you're, you're new to the game. Uh, even though it gets unlocked at level three, I really don't think that's uh, enough games for you to be ready to play against other players. And the number one reason for that is Smurfs. Uh, so Smurfs, for so for those of you who don't know, are people who have main accounts uh, that that are level thirty, and you know they've been playing for them on a, uh, with them for a while, and they decide to make a second account. Uh, those people have a lot of experience, but they're going to be matched with you, and and I know it sucks, and you got to bear with it. I know it sucks. You're playing a game. For those of you who've, who've been victim of uh, who've been victimized by a Smurf, you know what I'm talking about. When you got this one guy uh, who, who's 30 and zero after 12 minutes, uh, that, he's probably a Smurf. He's probably got a main account and he's just made a second account. I know it sucks, but it's part of the game. You just gotta fight through it. But uh, one of the ways you can avoid that is by sticking a co-op versus AI for a little while. So that's what I recommend. And so this is you know this is your main uh, uh, option screen. So uh, before we get into that, though, I'm just going to explain real quick uh, the champion select. I'm going to put an annotation. If you can skip this, if, you, if this doesn't interest you. But uh, I figured I'd just explain real quick for those of you who really are really 100% new to the game. Uh, so this is your summoners page right here. This is where you cl would click. Uh, you've got your name here. Uh, this would be where you have your ranked team that you can make with uh, four other, well, more than four friends. But you can make ranked team with friends. And uh, this is where you would have your stats. Uh, this would be your profile. So you've got your top champions, the champions you've played the most. This would be your rank that would that's displayed here. Uh, this would be the league. So the the way League of Legends ranked works is it goes from bronze to challenger. Uh, you don't need to worry about that for now because obviously you won't be playing any ranked. You have to be level thirty to play ranked. So uh, I don't think that's important. But know that whenever you 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 play eventually play ranked. Uh, this is where the ladder is going to be displayed so uh that's good to know match history is just simply i mean self-explanatory really it's the matches you've played uh this is your champion page as you can see i probably have the same champions you have right now that's because until level six or ten i'm not sure uh you have a predefined set of champions right uh after that it's actually a rotation so i can't see them right now because this account is level three but after a certain level, and I'm not sure, again, I think it's 6 or 10, uh, you get a, the same champion rotation as everybody else. So every week, uh, Riot makes a set amount of champions uh, available for everyone. So that happens every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, you get to try out a new set of champions. Because uh, as you know, this is a free-to-play game. So that's their way of you know, letting you try out all the champions. Uh, the one thing I can tell you for now is do not unlock any of the champions until you get used to a few of them, first of all, and until you really realize what kind of role you want to play. So are you more of a tanky uh, sort of player? Uh, do you want to be a more, more of an assassin? Do you want to be an ADC, a top laner, a bot laner, a, a mid laner, a support? 
it, you know you won't really know right away and you'll probably change a few times along the way so don't go unlocking any of the champions for now anyway you won't have any points i'll explain the point system and how the champions are unlocked but for some of those of you who already know don't go unlocking a bunch of champions right away um you just wait to get a feel for a few of them beforehand uh for the runes and masteries uh now this this is one of the parts that sort of new players find really complicated and uh, including me when i started playing i didn't even use runes for the longest time uh i'm gonna tell you don't worry about this right now for right now i'm actually gonna make a video for the runes and masteries and itemization i'm gonna do all that but know that this is where you would make your rune page so runes are basically passive stats so you you can make a every rune you put on this page is going to give you a certain stat so let's say point uh five percent attack speed you can put that as a rune and uh, it'll increase your attack speed at level one or there's also scaling runes it's kind of complicated but just know that that's where it is and we'll see we'll see that more in depth later masteries uh you unlock progressively as you level up so every level that you gain you actually gain a point where you can unlock a mastery so let's say i see these are passive stats as well a little like the a little bit like the runes except the last one gives you actually a pretty uh important effect uh which you only get obviously at level 30 because uh well not at level 30 uh i think maybe level 60 i'm not sure they, they sort of changed the how, how it works but uh this is your keystone mastery the effect of that is actually pretty important this is really hard to know uh in the beginning where to put your points into i mean it's pra practically impossible actually so i'm going to just show you a website that's really important that i still use to this day and it's called mobifier this site is absolutely necessary for any new player this is also good for itemization uh choosing the right skills this site is your go-to site all right so this is what it would look like if you click on an actual build uh by the way this is a website i use there are others uh, you can look on Google. There are a few of them. This is the one I like to use. I'll put a link in the description with the website if you want to use this one. I find that a lot of people that uh, make the builds on here, they make them very detailed. Uh, I like this website, so you can try to use this one, but feel free to use whichever you want. Uh, there's also other good ones. So as you can see, it tells you everything from your spells to your runes, to your items, to your abilities, and to your masteries. So... Um, like I said, for the runes, for now, don't worry about that. Uh, those spells you'll unlock all at level 10 once you get Smite, uh, which is the last one you unlock. Uh, for the items, I know a lot of you have a problem with items, when to build, what. Uh, I'll make a video on that, but this is a great way to know, uh, without knowing necessarily why you're building anything, if you copy uh, the builds on here, you'll be perfectly itemized. Yeah, you don't really need to know what they do. Like I said, it's good to know what they do, and that's why I'll make a video on that. But for now, you can go ahead and use uh, these builds. They tell you what to buy progressively. So you would start with a Doran Blade with a Health Potion, eventually build into an Infinity Edge. So you'd need to buy the three items that build into the Infinity Edge. Then you'd finish off your boots uh, and, and so on. So this is a great way to start. Uh, you can also read. Some people put a lot of work into these uh I, and honestly they're they're very they're very good to learn uh a champion and they're usually made see this one was made by someone who's platinum so that's pretty high up uh it, it's a great way to learn so i highly recommend using this website all right so i joined the game now i'm gonna be playing ash i know she's a champion that a lot of new players like to play uh like again like i said this is a basics video so this might seem dumb for some of you that have a little more experience but i'm really gonna go just into the general basics now to click your champion around it's it's simple you got to right click on your mouse it'll bring your champion to a spot okay your abilities are here this is your passive this is your q so you have to press q to activate this ability w to activate this one e to activate this one and r for this one these are your summoner spells. We spoke about that earlier. Uh, these are a hotkey on D or F. And here you're going to have your items. Some of them have active effects, so you have to press a button to use them. A lot of people don't use active effects in the beginning, and that's fine. Uh, but know that they're from they're numbered from 1 to 7, uh, so that's how you use them. And B is to back. So B is to return to base. So it'll channel for about 8 seconds. 
uh, you cannot take damage. If you take damage, it'll cancel your recall. So you gotta make sure you're recalling when you're recalling it, uh, that you're doing it in some place that you're safe, either by a tower or in a bush. Uh, bushes, uh, people cannot see you when you're in a bush, by the way, unless they have vision in that bush with a ward. Now, this is one of the things that you buy when you start out. So, uh, to open the shop, you can either uh, press P, click on your money here, or click just straight up on the, on the shop. Uh, I usually do this, or click on the money, on the gold. Um, so, as, as you saw on Mobifier, your starting items are here. They're pretty much, uh, it's, it's a good way to start. Uh, these items that are here in game under starting items are always good. Uh, then you also have the items that you can grab early on. As you can see, sometimes it's kind of confusing for new players because you can see a BF sword here and a zeal. But these items don't build into the same final item. These are uh, component items. So these, as you can see, build into these. Now you might see this and this and figure, oh, I'll build this and then this. But that's not usually the way you, you uh, it works. As I showed you in Mobifier, you'll usually build this, then finish this, and then build this into one of these. So that's usually how it works. Uh, so for the lanes, the bottom lane is usually a dual lane. So you'll have a marksman, so an ADC. Uh, now these this is these are meta uh, rules that I'm telling you about. These are not rules that are written in stone, but this is how most people uh, play the game. So you'll usually have a ranged attacker, which is someone like Ash, someone with a bow, with a gun, with a crossbow, with spears. That's usually where they'll be playing. They'll be playing bot. And they'll have a second player with them, which is a support. That support will usually be uh, someone that heals or binds or can offer some kind of a supporting way uh, to, to help the ADC or the marksman get kills. So that's his goal. Now, I'm going to head to bottom lane and I'm going to tell you about the other lanes real quickly. Uh, the mid lane is usually where the assassins and mages are. So they're high de damage dealing. Uh, but they don't rely on their auto attacks quite as much. I'm going to show you what an auto attack is in a few seconds. But know that th that's where they usually are. So they're champions that are high damage but rely on their abilities. So they're QWER. And in the top lane, you'll usually have either bruisers or tanks. Now these are heavy champions. Champions that take a lot of damage. That don't dish out that much damage. As much damage. But that use their abilities in ways to either crowd control or tank up a lot of damage. That's usually where, where they'll be. And you also have a jungler. Now the jungler's job is to clear these camps over here. These are neutral monster camps. Uh, now don't worry about the jungle for now because until level 10 you do not have smite and you need smite. Which is one of the spells to be able to jungle. You absolutely need that. Uh, I'll make a video on jungling. So uh, j just know that the jungle is there. Now the, jungle's ro the jungler's role is to gank lanes. Ganking means... Uh, going to someone el somebody else's lane and trying to catch them off guard to try to secure a kill for your team That's what the jungler does. So he uh, So he farms these minions gets gold builds his items and then tries to come into the lanes and secure kills That's usually what he'll do. So one good way to counter that we sp we talked about the totem before is to use it As you can see it's on the hotkey four. So if I'm if I were to put a, a ward right here see how that gives me vision That'll keep me. That'll uh, keep a jungler from coming in there and coming unannounced uh, without me seeing him. So that's one way to to, to try to mitigate that effect of jungling uh, is to gain vision on on the on the darker spots. As you can see, I could also place one here or here because I have no vision on there. So on to farming now. Uh, as an ADC, my role is to uh, farm up. So I cannot overstate how important farm is. So farm, as I'm missing all, all of them, farm is the gold that I get from killing these neutral, um, these enemy minions, sorry. So usually your, su your support will not be attacking the minions. Uh, Zyra is because obviously she's a bot, she doesn't know the rules and she's making me miss them all. But uh, usually you'll, you'll be the only one farming in the bot lane or in the top lane or in the mid lane. So what you want to do is you want to get as much gold as possible. For now, focus on farming, uh, that's the most important part, because farming is what allows you to get items and is what, what allows you to get ahead of your lane opponent. The more farm you get, the further ahead you get of him, the more items you get ahead of him, and the more damage you deal. So the ultimate goal, obviously, is to destroy all these towers 
and to get to the nexus and destroy that that is the main goal of the game now the best way to get there is to farm faster and to get better items as i said most of you are probably right now uh farming at, at a standstill i don't know why they're being so mean right now I'm trying to make a video here guys for farming i know most of you are probably farming this way so you're probably standing still clicking on a minion and then just letting the champion auto attack which is not the way to go because as you can see you only get gold if you get the kill on the minion now what's what happens when you auto attack is you miss them a lot because the minions are attacking and the tower is attacking so you, you're uh reducing your chance of getting the last hit on that minion. what you want to do instead is you want to click from side to side that just keeps your champion from attacking the minions and once you think you can get the last hit on the chat on the uh minion then you'll want to click on him like that or like that well, i missed it but that's usually how people farm i know some people also like to press s and stop and then just last hit the minion uh when when uh when they feel like they're about to get him so that's two ways of doing things but like i said for now focus on farming the ultimate goal is to destroy the nexus farm get gold then you get to back up buy better items rush down the towers and uh eventually destroy the nexus so those are the, those are the basic dynamics uh what you want to do now is try to see what kind of champion is is uh is your style what kind of style of champion you want do you want a tank your champion do you want a range adc marksman do you want an assassin so try out a lot of the, a lot of the champions because riot puts in uh the the beginning set of champions has a little bit of everything so you could try a bit of everything in the champion page on the summoners page where i showed you you can actually see the role that that every individual champion uh fills out so try a tank try a fighter uh, a bruiser try an assassin try a marksman and then figure out what kind of style you have once you think you have a champion that you th that you feel comfortable with then you can start to look uh more in depth uh in in terms of how to play that champion properly or how to play that role properly i'll be making videos about every position and every role but for now uh, i just wanted to make a basic really basic video uh so if you have any questions or anything put them down in the comments i'll address those in a future video uh, i hope you enjoyed this video this was my first video uh if you did just leave a like subscribe share whatever if you didn't uh just tell me or, or give me a dislike my name is kazi and i'll see you in the next video